or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is B and thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video we are going to be reviewing the very new reformulated version of Ultra HD Foundation for Makeup Forever called HD Skin. I just want to let you know that all of the timestamps will be included in the description box. If you will like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, uh, consider subscribing and comment for engagement. So the new foundation, the new HD Skin Foundation was just launched like literally a day ago on 17th of February. And as I said, it's a new version of their very famous Ultra HD Foundation. Makeup Forever is a very well-known brand among makeup artists and a lot of makeup lovers. So it is very interesting to see that they have reformulated one of their best selling product. I have picked mine one in number 1 and 14 or Y245. I have already swatched the foundation so I know that it is um, a bit darker to what my skin tone is currently but you know I'm not like freaking out. It's not that bad and will probably end up being a better match for me during summer period. So this is what the product looks like. I'm going to talk a little bit about the claims that foundation does have. So foundation is supposed to have full coverage. It is supposed to be really undetectable on the skin. It's supposed to be very lightweight, but very sweat proof. And it is supposed to stay on for 24 hours. Also, they say that it is a very lightweight formula, so it's not going to look cakey and it's going to provide you with like a really nice blurred effect. We are going to see if it's really great for every single skin type. I myself do have normal to dry skin, of course, now that we are having winter, it's more of a drier skin. And I generally do prefer foundations that are glowy. This one is supposed to have natural finish, so we will see if that's truth. I already have my sunscreen underneath. That's what I usually wear on a daily basis. This is what the shade looks like. You can see that it is much more um, yellow or beigey. Leave it at this so we can see how the color changed. But I will start with a one pump on half of my face just so we can see if it's really um, full coverage product. Okay. Also, the product does have a little bit of scent. So it's not fragrance free, but it doesn't have any SPF, which is, I think it's good anyways. It's, you know, you should be wearing your SPF on a daily basis. So hmm. so you can see that unfortunately the shade is probably like one, two shades darker than what I should be going for, but I was ordering it online and I wasn't really sure. I wanted neutral undertone, but probably should have ordered like one and 10 or something like that. I think that would be like much better shade match for me, but you know. So this is what one pump of product looks like. I don't think that it is full coverage product. I think it's like medium to probably buildable, but definitely not full coverage. You still can see kind of like redness around my nose and discoloration around my eyes, so don't think this is full coverage product. It does look quite nice though. It does have very thin formula and doesn't seem to like sit on the face way too much, but also it did dry down quite fast. Like I feel like you have to work with this product quite fast. So, you know, you blend it out within the time frame that it does set. I will try um, another pump just to see if we can build it up slightly. Again, I will place it around here and 
around my eyes because that's where the foundation didn't cover much. Yeah, so the second pump definitely did cover like the rest of discoloration. Um, so if you will want to have like more of a full coverage look, you definitely need to use a bit more product, which is at the end of the day is good because you can use it as a more of a medium coverage foundation, but also as a full coverage foundation. And it does have a really nice finish that seems to be like blending with the skin very nicely. For now, it doesn't seem to settle into lines or anything funky like that, but I do think that it does oxidize. I mean, you can see it on my hand. It does, it did turn darker and kind of like more beigey or peachy beigey. Okay, so I will just apply foundation on the rest of my face. So this is the full face of foundation. As I said, I definitely believe that this is not full coverage foundation. You can build it up, but if you're like using only like one pump on one half of your face, it is going to look more of a medium coverage that can be built. Of course, if you're applying a bit more product on, it looks quite nice. Um, I don't think it's um, like hydrating formula or anything like that. It doesn't feel drying, but it is kind of natural satin finish or velvety finish. Again, it doesn't really cling to dry patches or anything like that, but also it did dry quite fast which is interesting. So you don't really have a lot of time to kind of blend it in. You really have to go right in. But um, so far it looks really pretty. Once I'm done with my makeup, I will come back and we are going to see if we like it or not. Okay, so I do have full face of makeup on and we are going to kind of like speak about my first impressions on the product and uh, what I have observed so far. So number one claim was that it is full coverage. You definitely can build it up to a full coverage. However, it is a medium to buildable coverage foundation. Number two was that it is undetectable. So if you're using only like two pumps on your whole face, you will get medium coverage, but it looks very natural. However, if you of course want to get that full coverage, you will have to use more product so it does look a bit more present on your face. Despite that, I don't think that it is like very heavy looking. It's definitely not the thinnest uh, product that I've used, but for what it does to my skin, I feel like it does look quite nice. Does it have natural finish? So it definitely has more of that satin to velvet finish. It is definitely not like hydrating product or moisturizing or anything like that. So I think this would be better for people who have combo to oily skin. Um, if you have very severely dry skin, I don't think this would work so well um, unless like you have extremely crazy prep of your skin and this will kind of like cling on dry patches. It is not doing it currently to me but I kind of feel like there is like quite a big possibility that after several hours, I will experience some kind of dryness around my mouth where I usually do or my nose or you know, chin. Does it blur my skin? Definitely. I think that this foundation is really blurring and it really makes your skin look beautiful. Um, I believe that this is going to look very pretty on camera because 
from what I see it looks really like flawless on camera. What I would usually use this type of product for is like special occasions or if I know that I'm going to take pictures, something like that. I don't feel like this would be my everyday foundation just because it does have a bit more coverage than I usually go for and finish is not like necessarily glowy. So another thing, um, it did oxidize quite a lot on me. I'm not sure if it's just the shade because sometimes it does happen with certain products that one shade does oxidize, the other does not, so I don't know. But it did oxidize, like this is what the shade looks like currently. It's quite like quite darker. Um, so have that in mind when you're picking your shade, if you decide to pick it up, maybe go to the store, try more of the shades and just like figure out what works the best for you. Overall, it's really nice. Um, it's not necessarily what I would use on a daily basis, but I know there are people out there that do appreciate fuller coverage products. So um, I think it's nice. Again, I think uh, at this point, my opinion is that it would be more fitting for people who have combo to oily skin rather than um, like drier skin types. Hello guys, so this is what my face looks like after 8 hours. I feel like the vast majority of my makeup is still holding quite nicely. Um, the only issue that I've had, it was with the bronzer, it kind of wore off over here, but I was changing, so I think that's kind of like the main reason why. Other than that, um, foundation did kind of settle around here into my fine line, um, and it started to look bit drying around my mouth and kind of started to collect around my nose but those are mainly places where the foundation does break down on me fastest so doesn't look as fresh of course mm. other than that i think that also my eyes do look a bit dry um and in general my face does look like i have fuller coverage product on. It doesn't look as nice. It's not necessarily that foundation does sit on top of my uh, skin, but you can see that, like, you know, it's a base product that does have a lot of pigment. My skin doesn't feel like excessively dry, but also it doesn't feel like it's very moisturized. Despite all of that, I really feel like it's quite a nice product. If you're normal to dry skin and you prefer more of the glowy finish i don't think this is necessarily that but you still can make this look a bit more glowy and natural if you prep your skin my verdict is that this could be really amazing foundation for people who prefer more of a matte finish uh, it's more of that satin kind of not totally flat matte but kind of like satin velvety finish um, and they prefer a bit more coverage again it's not full coverage but you can kind of build it up if you're normal to dry maybe try it prior to purchasing full bottle because you might not really like it but if you like velvet finish and you have kind of like nice prep underneath still is going to look quite nice if you're very dry skin I don't think this is the way to go because it will cling on dry patches, in my opinion. Well, I think it's very nice. Again, it's type of product that will be definitely loved by many, but also disliked by many because it just really depends what you personally prefer, what type of coverage and what type of finish you like, how you're gonna prep your skin prior to application. As a person with dry skin, I still can enjoy this one. I would recommend it again, depends on your preferences. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing and leave a comment down below. Thank you very, very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. For now, I just wish you a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.